This is huge news, Mike. You're talking about one of the most incisive political minds of our generation. A guy who worked on Capitol Hill, worked for some of the most powerful people in politics and business. Kevin will be a hell of a mayor. You're talking about one of the most connected people, not just in media, but in all of politics, an incisive mind, friend of Republicans, friend of Democrats, friend of Bono, probably friend to almost everybody who'll vote in New York. Well, yeah, the big question is gonna be, why should Kevin Sheiky step down? After all, he's <laughs> already been president of the host committee for the Republican convention. He's already been senator, chief of staff. He's already been deputy mayor. And you're talking about a guy who you and I have joked uh, should have his own TV show. He knows everyone, knows everything. He's sort of a sophisticated Donald Trump without the uh, racism, the crazy hair, and the tiny little hands. When he's already done it, as the mayor said back in 2008, I didn't run for president, Kevin did. Let's go inside the war room. Okay, so look, this is, this is the image they're putting on TV against our guy. So, uh, so we gotta get serious about this cheeky for mayor b they're saying it's a like 10th term for Bloomberg. I don't see why that's a problem. Yeah, I don't know, 10th yeah. term? I mean, it's a big deal with that, I mean. Actually, you know, yeah. All right. It's a bit of a problem. Maybe it's yeah. a problem. Okay. Kevin Cheeky has been elusive about his plans to make New York City great. In fact, Kevin Cheeky is elusive about everything. So the question, is he the right man at the right time? Or is this just politics as usual? It is a very anti-incumbent year. People are looking for change. They're scared. People want optimistic scenarios. They don't want to know things are going to be worse. And they don't want to know that if they don't view it's going to be worse than the other guy. We'll ask the experts. Well, Charlie, one thing's clear. Shiki isn't particularly partisan, and that's a good thing. He's friends with Democrats. He pals around with Republicans. He's worked for independents. He doesn't just cross party aisles, he glides between them. Uh, I would call him politically agile. For the last few months, people have been stopping me on the street, in the elevator, everywhere, all the time, with the same question. Is Shiki running or isn't Shiki running? Is he in or is he out? If I had a dollar for every time there was speculation Kevin was running for mayor, I'd be a rich man. I mean an even richer man. I've worked with Kevin for 19 fantastic years. He's a creative genius and a true visionary. Sometimes his vision is a little out there. He can make quick decisions, sometimes too quick. He lives by his own rules without any guilt. Maybe a little guilt would be good, but he can always get you great seats at a Bono concert. I remember back in the early days, no one knew who we were, Mike, me, Patty, you, but we set out to change that. And here they come. It was all about convincing Mike that we needed to be more well-known in Washington. So what better to do than throw a nice elaborate party that everybody wanted to come to? We made a lot of enemies by not inviting all 6,000 people that were in the uh, Hilton ballroom. Then that might come back to haunt you in the candidacy. Shiki for mayor, Dodie for deputy mayor. Happy birthday, Kevin. Betsy, I've got to hand it to Kevin. He hasn't wasted any time. That's right, he already has his campaign team hitting the streets. Run, Kevin, run! Run, Kevin, run! Run, Kevin, run! run, Kevin, run. Kevin Sheiky for mayor. I've heard people talking about that. Some have asked me whether I'm going to endorse him. And you know, I really don't know him that well. So I'm going to have to sit down with him. I'm going to have to talk to him, find out what he believes, find out whether I think he's going to go in the right direction as the mayor of New York City. Hi, I'm Harold Ford, Jr. And I have to tell you, I was very pleased and delighted to hear uh, that Kevin Sheiky is going to run for mayor. Um, as you know, I thought about this race. Uh, and decided that after looking at, uh, closely that there was really no path to victory. So as a New Yorker and as his friend, uh, I wholeheartedly endorse Kevin Sheiky for mayor. I'm really excited to endorse Kevin Sheiky for mayor of New York. 
I think the people of New York will benefit greatly from his intellect, insight, dedication, and his ability to boss Mike Bloomberg around. Shiki for mayor. I'm happy to support Kevin Shiki for mayor. At the age of 50, it's about time he got a real job. We haven't had an Irish American mayor since Bill O'Dwyer. Finally, Kevin Shiki puts the Irish back in City Hall. If we get Kevin elected mayor, Patty and Mike will know where to find him, finally. You're fucking kidding me. I can't believe this. Kevin Sheeky running for fucking mayor? The guy's got to be out of his fucking mind. Global reaction to the Kevin Sheeky unprecedented mayoral run by this inside outsider has been mixed. We caught up with one of the world's biggest activists for an exclusive interview. Well, as leader of the Sheeky Go Home campaign, I, I'm not happy about it at all. And we nearly had him back with his people. Uh, back in touch with his roots. Um, Ireland is an up and coming nation. We need new leadership. And to be honest with you, I feel that Mr. Sheiky has lost touch with his people. I spoke to him about this years ago. He said he hadn't been home for years and years. He said, I am, and I asked him why, he had no particularly good excuse. He said, actually, he, he, he mentioned the famine. And uh, I told him this is, you know, the, the potatoes are back and uh, there's no shortage of potatoes and he was welcome to come home. We need him back there. He's given his best years to the city of New York uh, and to that fellow uh, Bloomberg. You know, he's done enough highfalutin kiss-assing and kick-assing for, for a lifetime. It's time to come home. And, uh, you know, he, he, Kevin Sheiky, Mr. Sheiky is so Irish, he thinks he's American. So, as far as I'm concerned here at the Sheiky Go Home campaign, it's Mayor No, Taoiseach Yes. He's, he's only 50? I, I thought he was much older. Oh, wow. Ugh. Kevin, um, yo, get out there, run for something. You gotta run, exercise. I mean, that's gonna help you, man. Okay, Kevin, you're old enough to be a living landmark, so I guess you're old enough to be mayor. Happy birthday best for the future, and I think we know where it's heading in 2017. <laughs> Kevin Sheehy for mayor? You? I would love to move to Gracie Mansion. Uh, I don't see it. Uh, hi Kevin, uh, this is Jesse Eisenberg here, wishing you a happy 50th birthday, and um, uh, more importantly, saying that I'm ready to endorse your campaign for mayor. Um, I am prepared to throw my full weight behind your campaign. Uh, I weigh 131 pounds. Kevin, this is a horrible idea. Hey Kevin, happy birthday! I'm Kelly Rohrbach from Baywatch and Sports Illustrated, and I want to see you run. Not only for mayor, but also down the beach in a red swimsuit. Start running. <laughs> happy birthday. Hey Kev, happy birthday. Damn, you're getting old, man. You remember your old boss, my good friend, Pat Moynihan? Remember what he said? He said, the single most exciting thing to encounter in government is competence, because it's so rare. You've seen it up close, both working for Pat as well as working for one of the best mayors in the country, uh, my great friend, uh, Michael Bloomberg. Uh, and, uh, you know, in the greatest city on earth, uh, still need you, pal. And take it uh, from someone who knows. You're a little old to run for office for the first time, but it's still possible, so you better get going. So run, Kevin, run, and I'll be there to help you if you do. Happy birthday, Kevin, and I hope, uh, hope you all have a great celebration. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I cannot believe you're 50 years old. Kevin Sheiky, happy birthday. And I guess now is a good time to say thank you for making me do something that actually changed my life in a very good way. Happy birthday, my friend. You know, every time I, I think about you and your birthday, I always think about the first time uh, that we met. Uh, it was in, I believe, um, Gramercy Park in New York City, and um, it was a beautiful spring, fall day, and um, it was it was crisp. I remember hot. The uh, weather was hot. It was warm, and uh, I just remember knowing that you and I were going to be uh, good friends for a long time. So happy birthday, 
uh, John, Kevin, Kevin, and uh, here's cheers to many, many more. Love to you and Lisa. Kevin, happy fucking birthday. I can't believe it. How old is he? 50. 50 years old. I can't, it's like, I remember <laughs> when you were like 39, like it was like that, like a weekend, wasn't it? Anyway, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kevin. I know it's your, it, you look like you're so young, but I know it's about your 65th birthday, isn't it? Happy 65th. No, it's not. Not a 65th. Well, happy birthday anyway. Save your strength, blow out all those candles. Congratulations. I can tell you that men at 50, it's like an overnight surge of testosterone. You're going to have a lot of fun, and everybody finds you attractive. Happy birthday, darling. Kevin Cheeky, happy birthday. I can't believe there are so many British people here who know you, who think you're great, and who have wasted five or ten seconds of their time to come and contribute to this greeting. That's because we love you so much and we think you're so amazing. Happy birthday. Kevin Cheeky, happy birthday. You're one of the great guys in the world. Everyone knows you as the man behind the man. You make so much stuff happen. We all admire you. You've been phenomenal. Whenever you're ready to do your own startup, I got you. I'm funding you. Happy birthday. Welcome to the club. All the best because you are the best. Kevin. Happy birthday. Happy 50th birthday, Kevin. Happy birthday, Kevin. Happy birthday, Kevin. Feliz cumpleaños, senor. Happy birthday, Kevin. You're one of my dearest friends in the world. Have a great one. Oh, by the way, you still owe me money. Happy birthday, Mr. Mayor. Happy birthday, Kevin. You don't look a day over 50. We love you, Kevin. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kevin. I hope you have a great day. Happy birthday, Kevin. Happy birthday, Kevin. I love you, man. Happy birthday from everybody in Soho. Happy birthday, Kevin! Happy birthday, Uncle Kevin. Uncle, Uncle Kevin, Kevin, you're the best. We love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kevin. Happy birthday, Kev. We love you. Love you. Happy birthday, Dad. We love you. 